TPO curb flashing. Mule hide requires base attachment at all angle changes of two inches per foot or greater. On standard TPO membranes, it can be accomplished by using either six inch russ, except on smaller curbs, 2.4 inch seam plates and heavy duty fasteners, or all purpose bar and heavy duty fasteners. We will use 2.4 inch seam plates and heavy duty fasteners in this demonstration. Set the 2.4 inch seam plates, barbs down, at the base of the curb. Keep the plates within half inch of the curb and six to nine inches away from the outside corners. Fastener spacing should be the same as in the field sheets. Install either number 14 HDP or number 15 EHD screws in each plate. Measure from the inside edge of the curb and down to a minimum of six inches onto the roof. Leaving six inches on the roof surface will allow you to use an automatic welder to complete the seams. Be sure that there is a minimum two inch clearance beyond the outside plate to allow for the required one and a half inch wide weld. It is always best to extend the flashings on top and to the inside edge of the curb. If the flashings do not extend on top of the curb, water cutoff and an approved mule hide termination will be required to complete the detail. Measure the distance around the curb and then add three inches to allow for a minimum one and a half inch weld. Crease the membrane at the angle change location using a two inch roller. Creasing the membrane at this transition will help prevent bridging. Do not use heat to create the crease. Apply an approved adhesive to both the curb and back of the membrane. Do not apply adhesive in any seam areas. The following adhesives are approved for use on vertical applications for standard TPO membranes. TPO bonding adhesive, AeroWeb Low VOC Aerosol Contact Adhesive, Low VOC Bonding Adhesive, Low VOC 1168 Bonding Adhesive, and Aquabase 120 Bonding Adhesive. We are using Aquabase 120 in this demonstration. Let the adhesive flash off until tacky. It should be tacky but not string to a dry finger. Hang flashing by setting the top edge of the flashing to the inside edge of the curb. Start at one outside corner and use slight tension to eliminate wrinkles as you work all the way around the curb. At each corner, cut the deck flange at a 90 degree angle to the outside corner of the curb. Cut the excess membrane at the last corner by making a straight cut on the horizontal and a 45 degree cut down to the corner on the vertical. Be sure the membrane is tucked tight to the base of the curb and weld all edges of the flashing. If using an automatic welder, hand welding will be required for all seams perpendicular to the side of the curb. Things to remember, base attachment is required at all angle changes of two inches per foot or greater. If the flashings do not extend to the top and to the inside edge, water cutoff and termination will be required. All welds must be a minimum of one and a half inches wide 